got here, and the devil said, you don't need to preach that now. But the Lord made it evident to me that he wants me to preach it this morning, and I've got to obey the Lord, and uh, I don't, uh, I don't, I ain't the one that tries to figure out uh, what I have to preach. I, I'd make a mess of it. But all I do is just give you what God gives me. Right. Amen. He knows exactly what you need, and He knows exactly what I need. Amen. Proverbs 22 and verse number 1. And uh, amen. We'll start reading there. I ask you to stand today. And let me say this today if you're here and you're lost, uh, nobody expects you to measure up to nothing. You're right. just lost and undone without God. But there is a man that uh, bled and died on the cross on Calvary that uh, and went to, and they buried him in a tomb and a bar and rose on the third day that you might have part of what the saints of God have and that you might be made a new creature and, and have inherited some defile that they did not away in, in heaven reserved for you. Proverbs 22 and verse number 1. You pray for me today. The Bible said, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. Right. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's all that we'll read today. Amen. Your heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you, God, for our uh, Lord, just uh, uh, the good singing, Lord, we thank you, God, for uh, the Sunday school lesson, Lord, just everything, God, you've allowed us, our uh, Lord, to be here today, and uh, our Lord, let us come to the house of God, and uh, Lord, I thank you for that, God, I, I pray today, Lord, that you have on me, and uh, uh, Lord, I know, God, you, uh, Lord, you've laid this on my heart, and uh, uh, God, for this hour, now. And Lord, I pray that you, and Lord, hide me behind the cross. And Lord, use me today, God, for your and your honor, Lord, your glory. And Lord, if there be one today, God, and Lord, that's lost and undone, and Lord, on their way to hell, and God, in our midst today, I pray that you, God, and Lord, convict their heart, and Lord, put conviction on them, and that they not be able and to sit in the pew today, and but Lord, that they come and know ye, I come and be born again by the Spirit of God, and it's in Jesus' name that we do pray, and amen, and amen. Now, in verse number six, amen, the writer said, train up a child, my brother, in the way that he, amen, should go, and when he is old, he shall not. My brother, depart from it. And I know today is Mother's Day. Amen. But I want to preach on. Amen. Mothers and fathers today. Amen. If I had a thought, I'd preach a message today. Amen. On godly parents. Amen. And worldly parents. Amen. And godly parents. My brother and worldly parents. And now, friend, and you have to admit that there's a big difference. That brother and a godly mother, amen, and a godly daddy. That brother, a worldly mother, or a worldly daddy. And now we know here in the Bible, amen, I'll quote it again. I've done read it today. I betrayed up a child in the way he should go. That brother, when he is old, he will not have to part from that. And now that ain't said that they'll never go astray. I'm a brother, if you put in a child, amen, the right way, I would make it older. And they'll never be able and to get away from that teacher. And you put it in the heart. And they can get out in the world. And put them a drink it up. And they can get out in the world. And brother, sleep around and all this. And but there'll be something in their mind. And say, hey, now you ought not do that. And there'll be something in the 
I burn precious seed. I shout the hallows. I come again rejoicing. I bring it. the sheaves within. And there's many a mother. And the sweat many a tear. And for sons and daughters. And that they do it right. And there's many a daddy. I've been down on his knees. Ain't been agonizing. I'm with the God of heaven. I'm for a boy or a girl. I that ain't doing right. I'm a friend today. I what about them young I but ain't got nobody. I'm to pray for them. I what about them young ones? Ain't men that ain't got nobody. I'm to get down on the knees. I was singing old song if I could. Ain't men only here. I'm my mother. I pray again. I'm a friend today. I bet you think it's about gone in most of your households. The mommies can't get a hold of God. My brother, daddies, I can't get a hold of God. And then how we need some godly mothers and some godly daddies. I brother here in the day and hour in which we live. And then I think about thought about brother Ryan. I'm a boy that baby. And then was ever born. And then while he's still. And then sister Caitlin's womb. And then praying. And then pausing on it. I pray in the God. And then will touch the young. I will don't that put you in mind. And then of old sister Hannah. As she had a boy. I thought the name of Samuel. And then she kept that boy. I did all that he was weaned. And she said, when I wean him, I'm a taking him down to the house of God. And I'm a leaving him there and giving him to God. And the Bible said, I'm in the day. And she brought him a little coat. And brother, she gave him. Amen to the Lord. I words the hand is out today. My brother, there ain't many left. I think we're to the graveyard. And nobody has come along to replace him. And most of your mommies today and your daddies today, they don't want to be mothers. They don't want to be daddies. They want to be friends. And brother, amen. Amen. They rather be out here. Amen. I know people today. I that when I was in high school. I I'm going to preach today. And it kills everybody. Amen. When I was in high school. Amen. There were people. Amen. That their mothers. Amen. Were with them. I drank and drank in their house. And they let them. Amen. At parties in their house. And brother, they say, well, I'd rather I'm good right here. I can go out in the world and do it. And man, we need some mothers. And I'll say, you ain't going to do this tonight. <laughs>
just right. And because hell is real. And let me remind you that there's a heaven to gain. And there's a hell to shut. You better train your youngins and right today. There's a big difference between a godly mother and a godly daddy and a worldly mommy and a worldly daddy. Amen. Why the worldly mommy? Amen. They're saying, honey, it really don't matter. I mean, the worldly mommy today, they're saying, honey, I'm not to see that's outdated. They're saying, honey, amen, living like the Bible says. Amen, that's outdated. I'm the worldly mommy today. Amen. Amen, I'd like to tell the world today, if you let your youngin, amen, go down yonder and preach around in the beauty pageant, and you wonder why you how why she grows up to be a whore, amen, why were you wondering for her, and you're teaching her, amen, that only one thing matters, amen, but the Bible said, amen, beauty's deceitful, amen, 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 favor's deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that fear the Lord, she shall be praised. And then mommies and daddies, I used to seek somebody for their youngins. And then that was godly. I'd seek somebody for their youngins. I've been had the power of God. I'm going to tell you the best thing how you leave to your kids is to let them know I want the power of God and the Spirit of God. Facebook. Uh, yeah. Amen. 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 What I've got on Facebook. Amen. This woman over here. Amen. He's a talk, she's a talking real nice to him. Amen. This woman here. That's her husband ain't paying her no mind. That's 
So they'll just trade them in. Amen. Get them somebody else. Amen. And then they'll get back to preacher. Amen. For preaching the Bible. But the preacher ain't the one who took the Bible. Amen. Amen. The preacher ain't the one I took it mad at. I but amen. I had to throw stones today. I but brother, I'm telling you, there was a day. Amen. When men and women had they men that claimed to love God. How they really loved God. And brother, they they said whatever that book says, I'll do what that book says. Amen. I'm glad today. It may be getting fewer and fewer. But I'm glad there's a few. And may God and daddies. I'm glad there's a few. And God and mommies. How do you know, preacher? I've seen them move up to God. I've seen them sell God. Amen. Whatever. How you tell me to do. Amen. That's what we need today. Now you don't need what the world's got. You don't need all you don't need Nashville. Now, brother, all you need is the water and life today. And glory, hallelujah. He said, you'll go the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. 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 Today, amen. I mean, you've heard me tell it. My own is only one that's class and ain't got a cell phone. Amen. I mean a 13 year old. Most of you can't handle one. That's right. Amen. Most of you can't handle Facebook. Amen. I've had people come to me and say, You're here. You ought to see what so and so does on Facebook. You ought to see what. I mean, a fool's known by a multitude of words. It may be a multitude of this. Amen. Amen, but there was a day. I mean, amen. 50 years ago, them living in the house of God, they didn't want the television in front of their youngest, much less all the internet. Uh, but brother, we let them have it all. And uh, said, yeah, the world's going to raise you. Amen, Canaan's going to raise you. The Hittites going to raise you. And brother, that's why there ain't nobody in the house of God living right. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, there's a big difference. Right. Amen. Amen. There was a day that people desired to see their young and saved. And y'all, some of y'all do. I've heard you request prayer. And ain't nothing you can do about what's about the past is. Amen. Let me just tell everybody here today. Ain't nothing you can do about what you've done back yonder. Amen. But there's something you can do about what you're doing today. There's something you can do. Amen. About how you're living today. Amen. Amen. The, amen. The Bible said, if a man will turn from his unrighteousness, and it will never be remembered, amen, on him again. Hallelujah. That's that grace of God. And that love of God. And the God it's all about. That's what makes people want to be godly mommies and godly daddies. Amen. 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 I know you will get. You might get quiet on me. Oh, Amen. 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 Now, you ever seen time? Amen. 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 Sister Jean, a couple years ago, showed me a picture of Eastside High School's prom. I mean, it's about nothing. I was in school, and I went. I was a sinner. Amen. But I, I mean, young girls. I mean, I, I mean. I reckon as long as you got this covered, amen, it don't matter. Amen, it don't matter nothing, nothing about this right here. Amen, nakedness ain't nakedness no more. I mean, young girls are going out showing their belly. Amen, young girls are going out showing their hind end. Amen, young boys are going out. Amen. Amen, we're working around the shirt off, doing this and that. Amen. Amen, there was a day. Amen, when mommies and daddies, I said, we are the people of God. And amen, there's a, and you can say what you want to, but the way God with mommies and daddies dress is a whole lot different than the way world with mommies and daddies dress. It ain't in your dress, preacher. Amen, well, yeah, I mean, you wear dress. Amen, you have long hair and still go to hell, but if you get it on the inside, It'll come through to the outside. Amen. Amen. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my worldly. 
worldly, worldly. Amen. What God say? He said, keep my statutes and my commandments. And he said, teach your children to keep my statutes and my commandments. And when you get in your houses, when you get in your houses, you'll teach these to your youngins. And when you rise up, you'll talk of these to your youngins. And when you go to bed, you'll talk of these to your youngins. And now they don't know what Amen. They don't know much about mom and daddy's religion. But they know who what football team they pull for. Uh, what race car time they pull for. Uh, brother, they know all this worldly stuff. And they don't know whether mom and daddy is really living right or they ain't. Uh, 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 Amen. I won't leave an address. I'll leave here. Uh, uh, Amen. I won't leave an address. I'll leave here. Uh, Where I'm going to. Yeah. This world ain't my home, you do. No, no. Hey Amen. There's a land that rhymes something about that we can go to if we know God. Right. Hey Amen. But you better, some of you got grandkids around you lots, you better, you better teach them about the Lord while you got them. Hey Amen. You can I mean, it ain't your responsibility. Hey Amen. But you better do it while you got them. Hey Amen. You better tell them everything about God. Hey Amen. Tell them what God done for you. I tell them what God said he'd do for them. I tell them about living right. I tell them all these, all these preachers that are bad mouthing the strict men. Hey Amen. You know what I hate? I hate getting around the bunch of preachers and they're going to brag their body about how strict they are. If I have to tell you how strict I am, I'm not very strict. <laughs> but when they're talking about you, amen, saying, amen, all you preach on this and that, amen, this and that, that brother, that tells for itself. <laughs> amen. Oh, the Bible said most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. <laughs> But a faithful man yeah, yeah. who can find let another man praise him yeah, yeah. and not thine own mouth. Yeah. People get up and brag about, amen, brag about what they've done, how good they are. But them youngins know better than that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Them youngins know better than that. Yeah. Amen. I'd hate to think it got to worry. Amen. I quit. Hey man, if I was such a bad example to my young and that he didn't want nothing to do with God because of me. Hey man, now you train him up right and then go straight. And I'm talking about if it was me. Hey man, if it was my what, what kind of preacher would I be? Hey Amen. Let me tell you. Hey Amen. What kind of mommy would you be? What kind of daddy would you be? If your youngins don't see, hey Amen. I don't see God in you. And hey Amen. You're the heaven of God about you. And that they know you've got something real. And they desire. I brother what you got. I wish I'd go out and done game today. And tell everybody there's a better way than the way they're living. And there's a holy way. A righteous way. And brother by the grace of God. If we walk in that way, we'll make it home one day after one. Amen. 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 Used to, you've heard me tell it before. I'm telling you, i got a lot to preach. Amen. Amen. They used to court on the couch. They used to court on the couch. Amen. And it's got so bad now. That's what they used to say this. Them young boys have got the one thing on their mind. That's what they used to say. Well, hey man, it's the women too today. Hey man. Hey man, it's them loud women. Hey man. That didn't have no godly example. Hey Amen. It's them loud women. Well, mommy stood. Hey Amen. Took an hour or two getting all bandited up. Hey Amen. Look up for the neighbor's husband. Hey Amen. Where mommy. Hey Amen. Oh, she's tearing down some looks. I'm where mommy's trying to get a good tan. I for when she went down the beach and the pastor on the ramp, she looked good for all the married men. Hey Amen. That's why today, hey Amen, our youngins. Hey Amen. Hey. Hey, think they can have the you can't have the world and have the church too. Yeah. You can't have God and have the world too. Yeah. Amen. You can't live and you can't straddle a fence. Oh. Amen. That ain't no fence there, no way. Yeah. If you ain't on God's side, you're on the devil's side. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a day of judgment coming. And brother, you better do everything you can. And brother, you're a 
mommy or daddy or not, have to be a godly man, a godly woman, for one day God shall judge you. Amen. 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 Oh, no. The Bible said by faith, Noah being moved with fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his soul. That was a man, a preacher of righteousness, that loved God. He wanted to see his family get in the boat. Yes, he did. He wanted to see everybody, amen, get in the boat. That's what, amen. Jeff, I think he knew about being out of church for how many years he's out here. He can't do nothing about it. Amen. But when your boy sees a change in God's making your name. Yeah. Amen. And sees that there's something down in you. Amen. That makes you want to go to church. That makes you want to live for God. That makes you want to lay things down that hinder you. Amen. Uh, yeah, they'll think you're crazy. Amen. But I looked around at them. Amen. But I thought they was a little bit too extreme. Uh, but after I got born again, I found out that there's right. I found out the closer you get to God, uh, the less of the world you own. Uh, but let me say it this way. Uh, to get close to God, you'll have to throw the world away in the house. Amen. 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 Most of you, most of you churches today, they're all right with you. I ain't going to preach about you laying out on Wednesday nights to go to the ball game. They won't. I've lost about every one of them and I had to preach that to I, I ain't preached that in a while. I ain't got to no more. <laughs> they got mad and quit. <laughs> Amen. They got mad and left. Amen. Well, yeah, they run down. They ain't going nowhere. They run down the road, find the preacher. They won't tell. Them. Amen. Tell them everything's all right. But then on Judgment Day, Amen. When that preacher didn't tell them how to be a godly mommy and a godly daddy, Amen. That blood's are dripping off his hands. I don't want your blood, your youngins' blood, your grandchildren's blood, nobody's blood on my hands. Amen. Mommy, today. Can't get off the phone long enough to fix our young and son beating and start to death. Amen. Amen. Matt's about to graduate. Amen. Matt, if you want to be a godly man, get you a job and work. Amen. If you don't do that, then you ought not eat. Amen. I believe Matt loves the Lord. I believe that's what Matt will do. Amen. I believe daddy should do. They can't get off the video game long enough to make a living for their young. Raise his great grandchildren. Yeah. Right. Amen. I mean, does that make you mad? Yeah. yeah. I mean, God loves him people. Yeah. And we've got to love people. Yeah. Amen. But I'm going to tell you one thing God gets angry. Yeah. Right. 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 God gets angry at sin. He's angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. Let me tell you one more time. He's angry with the wicked, brother, every day. Every day that you rise up, if you're living in sin, God's angry with you. Amen. Amen. God has said it right in his attention. Amen. Ain't many men today that are willing to be industrious and go out and work and make a living. Amen. And we went over at McDonald's the other day. Amen. Wasn't nobody hard. I mean, some people come in there and they say it. And they say it. And they say it. I said they could have went to the hard knock, got their food a whole lot quicker. And you know why it is? Ain't nobody wanting to work. They're looking for a hand now. But God ain't going to give you no hand now. He said if, you ain't, if you're too sorry to work, you're to starve to death. That's the word, boys. That's the Bible. Amen. Uh, amen. Ever since Adam sinned, that's the way it's been. I swear in your face, you're going to eat bread. And thorns and thistles are going to come up at them. But now, we've got to twist it all around. Amen. Amen. Back when mothers used to keep the house and raise the youngins, we've got twists all around now. A lot of daddies are stay at home days. You know what I call them? A bunch of sissies. <laughs> Amen. A lot of daddies are stay at home days. Amen. Amen. A bunch, bunch of people ain't got nothing back home to work. Amen. And that's what the sinner will do. 
but it's in the church house. Brother, it's in the house of God. And man, I hate to think today that some of my blood was too sorry to strike a lick at anything. Amen. Godly mommies and godly daddies. Amen. There's getting fewer and fewer and fewer. And fewer and fewer and fewer. Of godly mommies and godly daddies. Noah was moved to build an ark. But not many years after that, Lot went down to Sodom and took his daughters with him. And God brought Lot out of Sodom. <laughs> but when Lot got down into where he's at, he done lost his wife. She'd been turned to a pillar of salt because old backslid mommy couldn't get Sodom out of her heart. Right. Right. Amen. Right. She had to turn around and look. Look back at Sodom. I'm going to tell you one thing. If a man or a woman, either one, puts his hand in the plow and looks back, they ain't fit. They're not fit. Amen. For the kingdom of God. There ain't nothing out in the world for you. Amen, child of God. Amen. The devil ain't got nothing that'll help you. The devil will offer you everything. Amen. But all Paul said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I kept the faith. I want to be like old Paul. I want to come down the I want to say, hey boys, there's a crown of life I laid up in store for me. Amen to you today. Amen, I want to tell you. Amen, be a godly example. I for your grandchildren. I for your children. Because they sure ain't going to get it in the world. Amen. And he got out there. Amen. Them two daughters of Lot's mm -hmm. said, Our mommy's gone. <coughs> we ain't got no brothers. Mm -hmm. We're the only two left. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said one of them went in mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. laid with her daddy yep. and was with child. Yep. And then she come out and she said, Hey, daddy's in there. Look, I got him drunk last night. Yeah. Now, we can do the same thing again. Yep. And this is all Bible I'm preaching. Right. <laughs> and she went in and laid with her daddy. Amen. And she was with child. Amen. And they both had youngins. Amen. I tell you, do you know how that happened? Lot slaw went down to Sodom. Where did, where did young ladies learn about all that? Amen. Where did, amen. I was introduced to things I should never be introduced to. My brother at a young age. Amen. Let me tell you, you can't be a godly mommy. Set your eyes on soap operas and all that world of junk. How people are fornicating. How cheating on their husband. How doing this and that. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Watching that wrestling on Monday night and being half naked, rolling around, fighting with each other. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to preach it all about it. Real to everybody. Amen. Don't be upset. Let them all die in the Amen. Come on now. But them Hebrew midwives. See, I told you about Noah. He was a godly daddy. I told you about Lot. He was a worldly daddy. Because he went down to Sodom. Amen. Lot come out there as a just man. That's what the Bible said. But amen. He paid for what he did down there. He paid for letting his daughter see all that mess. They're going to see enough of it at Walmart and Food City. Then you act like a whore. Mom. That's a Bible word, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Amen. Marriage is honorable. And the man on the file, I, went, I worked with somebody. They said, they said, when I was young, and then when I was a young girl, they said that mommy and daddy told me that me and, me and my husband could not, could not, amen, live in the same roof till we got my. Then she said, my daddy died, now my mommy, 60 some year old, has backed up and has got her one. <laughs> Marriage is honorable yeah. than the men under five. But let me tell you what the Lord said. Whoremongers and adulterers. God will judge. Amen. 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 The Bible said that Hebrew women. 
the midwives of hey, I'm trying to close. These Hebrew women ain't like we are. Mm-hmm. Amen. Pharaoh should kill every one of them. Give all them, hey, give all them Hebrew boys that come out of that womb. Amen. Because he's afraid they're going to rise up and take his kingdom. Mm-hmm. Amen. Just like old Herod did. Moses didn't take his kingdom. But I serve one today that took old Pharaoh's kingdom. <laughs> I serve one today that took old Herod's kingdom. I serve. You said I'm waiting to crown Jesus. No. But buddy, you're too late. Right. He's king of kings. Right. He's Lord of lords. Lord. Right. He's great. He's the one that makes me want to be God. Yeah. Oh, I feel the Lord. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, but he put something in me. He put something in me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Moses was born. And I, after he was a goodly child. And then he, them Egyptian men would come in. I didn't be preaching this to beat you down, Kilos. Uh-uh. I'm just giving what the Lord gave me. Right. If you're here today, lost, amen, you just need to get born again. That's all you need to do. Right. This ain't here to condemn you. You're already condemned. Right. And the Bible said, amen, that Moses was a good child. Amen. He didn't cry when them, Hebrew, when them Egyptian men come in. Amen. But after they couldn't hide him no longer, mm-hmm. old Jocker man made her an ark of bulrushes. And she pitched it within, kind of like old Noah did. Mm-hmm. And she pitched it within and pitched it. Amen. She put it down there in the river. Mm-hmm. Amen. Put old Moses down in the river. Mm-hmm. Amen. They say there's alligators and crocodiles and all that over on the Nile River. Amen. Old Moses is floating down the river. And he comes up amongst the flags one day. And here's Pharaoh's daughter. Amen. She comes running back. Amen. In there. Amen. The servant come down there and found him. Amen. Pharaoh's daughter said, Hey. Amen. Look what it's my sister. I mean, Moses' own sister. I followed him down the river. And Pharaoh's daughter said, I believe I'll take that young man and raise him. Amen. And I want, I want she do. She said, Hey. I mean, you want me to go get one of the Hebrew women? Amen. Let them nurse this baby for you. And took old Moses right down to his own. Not worldly mother. Not loose mother. But an old godly mother that loved God and loved the truth. I said, I'll put my young in the heart. He'll be all right. Amen. And the world says, if you don't let them do this, and you don't let them do that, and you don't let them do this, I say, they don't know what they're talking about. Because right. I read it to you today. Train up a child. Yeah. Amen. Train up a child. 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 Is God wrong? No. no. Uh-uh. I'm going to put mine in the ark. I'm going to put mine in the ark of safety. Not ark and put him in the Nile River. I'm going to put mine in the ark. What are you going to do with yours? If I die and go to hell, they look over at you and say, You're the reason. You're the reason I died and went to hell. You're the reason. Thank you. You're the reason I died in the hell. But I can, amen. But Moses, amen, he was raised by his own mother and also lived in Pharaoh's palace. And the Bible said when he came to a full age, yes. choosing rather to suffer affliction. I'm going to tell you why Moses did that. Man, he had a godly mommy. Yes. Right. He knew, I, seeing all that down y'all, he saw all the gold in Egypt. He saw all the good things in Egypt. But Moses said, I choose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And he said, he, ch- and he esteemed the riches of Christ and greater treasures than all them that stand there in Egypt. And to what we've done today, and them godly mothers, and them godly daddies, and that are training their children upright, and they said, yeah, and my young ones are going to miss out on this. And they're going to miss out on that. But I chose Christ. He's a greater treasure than anything Amen. the world has. Amen. Amen. I was lost. I was lost. I was lost. I was going to hell. 
and I was out there in the world, and I, amen, I could have, I mean, I could have, I could have just hurt myself, and could have come down with some disease, or, I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, but see, I'll tell you what I'm missing out on today. Amen. By being a child of God. And I'll tell you what your young ones will miss out on by you raising them upright and you training them upright. They'll miss out on sexually transmitted diseases. They'll miss out on, amen, drinking herself to death, and being an alcoholic at 25 and can't get off the bottle. Amen. And having seizures trying to get off the bottle. Amen. And they'll miss out. Math is about ruining their land. Amen. People are walking around with their, I mean, look like, I mean, I'm talking girls I went to school with. Now when I was in school, they's pretty young girls. And now they look like they're old enough to be my mamma. I mean, math is ruining them. And you know where that's come from. Amen. I, I, we've met, we from godly mommies and God. I'll tell you where it come from. Some old drug dealer that didn't know how to be a godly daddy or a godly mommy said, here, son, come over to my house. We'll have a good time. Man, you better be careful who they go home with. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Well, train up a child in the way he should go. Right. And when he is old, he shall not. Shall not. Shall not. Shall not depart from it. Right. Amen. Amen. I wish there was more God than mommies. I wish there was more godly daddies. And every one of us today ought to leave this church saying, I wish I, if you are a mother or a daddy, you ought to say, I want to be a godly or mommy or a daddy or a godly or papa. Every one of us ought to say that. Be closer to God today than we was yesterday. Amen. Train them up in the way. I mean, tell them, tell them about the Lord. Tell them about what God meant. But God ain't just a God of love. It's more than picture books and stories. I mean, God's a God of wrath. And brother, the Bible said that one day the wrath of God would be poured out on all the ungodly. And brother, it'll be too late on that day. Amen. Amen. So brother Ryan, if you come get a song, I'll give you what the Lord give me. Amen. Amen. I'd like to preach your mommy up in heaven, your mommy in heaven, your daddy in heaven. I'd like to preach yeah. that. I'd like to have, amen, I'd like for you to be able to rejoice. Thank amen. You, amen. But when God, I'll just soon preach like that God when God gives it to you. Yeah.